Well, athletes are finding new ways to stay in shape with the uh, 2020 Olympics postponed until 2021 because of the uh, pandemic. A canoe racer from Argentina uh, chose to train in his girlfriend's swimming pool. Uh, he keeps his canoe strapped to a pair of palm trees while he paddles vigorously there in the water. <laughs> paddles vigorously there in the water. Um, Eden, I know you like to go kayaking. Is this what you're going to what is going on this morning? I'm I'm in what tears. I turn over this way. Sheldon cracks me up. I look over there. Lindsay is just losing it. I mean, we need Adrian to come back tomorrow. Yes, okay. Cause she, we're keeps, just... she keeps this train on the tracks. She does. Lindsay, save us from ourselves. I wasn't expecting that, Lindsay. No. I, just, I, I didn't see that coming. Mm. I mean, he's real <laughs> okay. excited about it. <laughs> oh man, this always happens right before weather, doesn't it? Sunshine here, Coos Bay, a beautiful sight as you work your way into Florence. Also looking at plenty of sunshine, and then this this box is going to get small, smaller and smaller, and it's totally my fault. But again. <laughs> oh my goodness, it's my fault. But yes, of course, uh, you can <laughs> even see you chain there. All right. Oh my goodness. I will put myself together. I know. Live TV. Thank goodness our forecast is great. We do have some more temperatures, low 60s along the coast right now. 70s across the mountain passes. Low 80s for those of you in the Willamette Valley. We will see an increase in clouds as we head into both of those days. I can't stop thinking about it. Oh, I'm here for toilet paper, water, dog food, dog pot, uh, hand sanitizer. Uh, rice, beans. I was here three days ago and I was number one. I was number one. I was here before six o'clock. I was number one. Today, look, I tell you I'm going to be number one again, but it's not the case. Toilet paper is a must. Hand sanitizer is a must. Hand wipe is a must. A bread, peanut butter, yeah! I love it. <laughs> it's fun. <laughs> Oh, this is going to be a good one. At the Chattanooga Zoo, baby Komodo dragons are making history at just seven months old. Oh, I've got this. I know you do. I do. They are the first babies at the zoo to have just one parent. Komodo dragons can reproduce through a process, John, called parthenogenesis. <laughs> parthenogenesis. <laughs> okay, anyway, you get the point. <laughs> parthenogenesis. Instead of mating, the female fertilizes her own eggs. Uh, keeper Max de Groot says the process could be useful to help the population. You made me nervous, okay? <laughs> All right, so Larry, Rob, and Paul, working from home with this whole social distancing thing, I got a message from one of our Facebook, Facebook viewers, Mark Birmingham. He said, take some Hot Wheels and line them up to simulate like you are showing traffic from the helicopter. And I... I have nothing else to do, so are you ready for this? <laughs> yeah, let's see. Yeah, let's Here see. we go. Oh, this is this. traffic on a normal <laughs> Chicago weekday. <laughs> this is traffic now. There is no traffic, but there is still construction, so IDOT says you still have to be careful and watch for their workers, because there is still construction. Got it? Got it. Right okay. now, right now there's, a, there's a TV consultant shedding a tear. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? Thank God she's that got a boy at home. Bad. Otherwise, that wouldn't have been happening right. in my house. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> I've never heard of, what is it? In, in, indica. Indica. How do you hear that? Like, is that? The hey, kid. Hey, dude, can I have some indica? No, oh no, no. <laughs> have you ever? Well, that would be the best undercover shot? cop. What are you doing? <laughs> uh, just hanging around for some indica. <laughs> no, <laughs> sorry. No, we can we can do. I I I know some of this. We've done some stories. Indica, indica. Hold on, indica is like a downer. So if someone were to use medical marijuana, indica is something that would probably like knock you out. Sativa is more of like a an, yeah. an, an uplifter. So if you, <laughs> I'm sorry, can't look at you. Is this like <laughs> drugs 101? No, but if you go to Lynette, Lynette I'm sorry, you, you don't know. Go to a dispensary and get medical marijuana. Usually there's there's sections. Okay. And, you know. All right. Thanks, sativa, kids. Sativa, indica. All right. I don't know. I'm sorry. I'm no, I'm not. <laughs> I needed that laugh. I, I, it was very good. Yes, you did. Yes. All right. <laughs> so we're smoking in Long Beach. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Snoop's back in Long Beach for sure. <laughs> that is the. They're clan. <laughs> they're waking up. They're waking up.
baking and baking in Long Beach. <laughs> I swear, I thought they were baking cookies. I swear. Uh, when you said that a couple years ago, I just uh, about died. Oh, that's good stuff. Oh my God, look at this. Oh, that's good stuff. <laughs> a little smoky out there, a little foggy out there. And from spring heat to chilly weather, I'll let you know when the cold air will move in and temperatures will hit the 40s. That's coming up today on News 3 at 4. Thanks. Mic drop, everybody. Have a good weekend. Sask Energy is announcing a proposal to jack off, uh, up the cost of heating your home by 27 to 30 percent. Nu är det slut för den här veckan, men ni ser oss på måndag igen. Hej då! <laughs> the woman stole the more than $120,000 emergency vehicle, took it on a 50-mile joy ride. I had uh, the... Ambulance, and I had a pretty good time driving it. Oh, bro, it's just like, dude, you get the best barrels ever, dude. Just like you pull in and you just get spit right out of them, and you just drop in and just smack the lip, whoop, drop down, snap, bah! and then after that, you just drop in, you just ride the barrel and get pitted, so pitted like that. Now, warm-up continues pretty much all week long, so drop the clicker here. We're going to get that for you in a second, but just bear with me. We're going to see temperatures right now into the 50s. Oh, do I have to crawl? Okay. I'll crawl. Hold on. You guys won't see me. 56 degrees, 73 by noontime, your afternoon high. Oh, you can see me. Oh, no. Okay, 69 degrees. I tried to be discreet. It didn't work. All right. Well, ad lib, uh, ad lib. <laughs> I didn't even see that in there. <laughs> so much for roasting Mark. Mark. Since we, we couldn't be there. Well, I'm glad I caught that one. Uh, you know, there's no script for that one. There's no script for that one. <laughs> okay, well, I'm going to ad lib for the roast. Mark, it's all true, whatever they said. All true. Even though I wasn't there. Good recovery. Yeah, let's go to the weather, okay? <laughs> if you're going to get wet, here's a good way to do it with Mahalani Richardson. Hey, Mahalani. And coming up at 547, we'll tell you about the Flow Master Competition here at the Hawaiian Weather Adventure Park. I don't think this rain jacket is really working. You're watching KITV4, your island television news this morning. We'll be right back. How the heck did I get this job? Coming up tonight on News 11 at 5, could the secret to having a smaller, smarter children lie in genius, excuse me, in a genius sperm bank? The sperm of men with high IQs was given to women around one country 26 years ago. <laughs> excuse me. <laughs> so we'll see how that turns out. you got to wonder how that kind of experiment would turn out. <laughs> Then on News 11 at 6, we'll have more. <laughs> All right, you got me in so much trouble. You are in so you much trouble. You know what's trouble. not funny is the weather. That story had you choked mess. up, eh? Yeah. Michael Jackson has set another record, this time at Sotheby's auction. A porcelain sculpture of the king of pop and his monkey sold for $5.6 million. It was only supposed to fetch $3 million. There it is. I didn't even. <laughs> it's, Roddy, it's, my it's Roddy McDowell from Planet of the Apes. No, no, no. I've never seen it's his monkey. The, it's Michael Jackson and Bubbles. Okay. And uh, it depicts him reclining with his arm around his famous pet. And someone actually paid my point. I'm not going to laugh at a sculpture. It probably took a lot of work and it's a very nice. Million dollars for it. It's a lot of money. Let's get right to your turn All today. Right. Vasectomies are meant to be a form of birth control, but a study in Thailand has bad. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, the video, I mean, so we're just looking right there. But a study in Thailand has bad, <laughs> but a study in Thailand has bad news for couples who want to reverse the vasectomy. They found reversing the procedure may raise the risk of... Can you tell by the I'm sorry. <laughs> sorry. But I mean, the video is just focusing on just one area. Anyway, reversing the procedure may raise the risk of having babies with birth, birth defects. Researchers in Thailand study. 
<laughs> studied a 18 men who had their vasectomies reversed. That's how they came up with it. And I guess they There's looked very closely. There's nothing to see. Nothing to see. <laughs> uh, we're just not talking. <laughs> and nothing to say either. Nothing Dan's to say. Just like, can we move on? Can we move on? <laughs> Let's keep going. Maybe we shall. Okay. Yeah.